what's going on. Here we are at another Criterium today. Jasmine's joining us, signed up for two races. <laughs> Registration desk. Do I do one or two races? I don't know. Welcome to Japan. Yeah, big way to uh, make it happen. First, uh, first race is always uh, special. I have no idea what to expect, so we're gonna see it. He's convinced me to do two races, so we'll see how it goes. Pull you all the way. Yeah, he's gonna pull me all the way. I like the sound of that. You racing? Uh, if it rains, though. Check out his custom shoes. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> This is it, rain's coming in, last shot before the race. It's gonna be wet. Did it, two races back to back. Cat four, then cat three. Three minutes recovery from the finish line to the start of the second race. First race, Jasmine tried to work for me, but I made a few mistakes, but it's all right. It's my first couple of races. The pack went, uh, the pack went AWOL, so yeah. it almost took out uh, a few racers. So yeah, basically, you stole a rubber side down. That's a good thing. Yeah, I got stuck on the front a couple times and got made to work a bit. Then the accelerations, I couldn't get when people were coming past. Then there was a few slip and slides on the corners, which we had to navigate. And I just couldn't make it onto the group at the end. Finished about 20 or something. Jasmine finished top 10. Not bad for the first race in Japan. Yeah, eight, Cat three. Like we four. started on the back after a minute's recovery. And we both, well, I got dropped pretty quickly. You were on for a little while, right? You were on a yeah. little group. I, uh, I go well when I'm alone in, in the wind, so yeah. I survived. Yeah, so that was it in summary. Proper fun. <sighs> Cruz has just arrived. He's going to be riding C1 today. Head of his crossway, cross race next week. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Shower done. Feel a million dollars. Fresh kit for the ride home. C2 is happening now. One of the guys we know, Matsumura, is racing in it. Strong guy, hope he does well. Can't get onto the course today because you need a press jersey, just like Tim's got. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Go, go, go. Come on it. That's the middle of That's cat two heading for the final lap. Proper tight pack. Good race, longer circuit. Uh, so, cat four today was on a three kilometre circuit, four laps. 12 something kilometers. Cat three was the same and was, oh, how many laps? Six laps, maybe? Six laps, seven laps, six laps or seven laps? I can't even remember now. Didn't really matter for me in that, in that race. Uh, and then cat two steps up a bit. It's eight laps of a five kilometer circuit, so it's 40K. They're just going for the, for the last lap now. And C1 is massive. So you got like some of the domestic pros riding in that one. And that'll be, I don't know how many laps, but it's about 100K. So probably two and a half hours of racing on a 5K circuit and it's soaking wet. So it's gonna be a war of attrition today. Gonna be exciting. That's the one that Cruz is entering. I'm not sure I know anyone else, but there'll be a few domestic pros. We'll see how it goes. Cruz isn't sure if he's going to race the whole race because it's training for him next week. He's got a big cross race coming and that's where he really wants to put in a result and get a result, sorry, put in an effort and get a result. So today he's just out here for the for the pushes of the big boys and anything else is a bonus really. So we'll see how it goes. But he looks ready. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, 
11 speed. But on my training bike, I've got a 10 speed. So what do we do is... Sick. Change it for a 10 speed. <laughs> The uh, ex-Japanese national TT champion is riding in Cruz's race, so that's the quality of the field today. I've got nice training wheels and hard cases. Bro, you're just training for cross, man. Yeah. Out here, out here getting cold, getting wet, working hard, ready for next week. Should have had knobbly tyres on for that. <laughs> <laughs> guy had a mechanical or a puncture or something he's borrowed a wheel from another rider from another category awesome so this is the one lap crit rule in full effect if you have a mechanical you get a lap to fix it and then you can join the field again from the back of the bunch for a 5k it's pretty easy to jump back in that guy's fresh now yeah Ready? You look too clean! Go on, Cruz! Three laps to go in category one. Cruz is having a banging race. I can't believe it. He's absolutely beasting it. He's still up there. I thought he'd retire by now, to be honest, but he keeps getting himself back to the front. The Kinan guys, the local pros, one of them's gone out, another one's joined him, so they're going to be a pretty tough force for the last few laps, but we'll see what happens. Go, 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 go! Ready! Ready! Go, Chris! Last lap, he's still there. Breakaway, got it though. <laughs> wow! That face. I must have seen it cycle across I know, it's <laughs> filthy. Well done, lad. Play cruise. Is that a cycle across race? Sick race. <laughs> Killed it. It's too long. Dude, what a race, man. Good effort, man. Thanks. Like, you smashed it. You were just where you wanted to be for the whole race. Like, the first hour and a half was fine. I was rotating in the front, fine attacking, but I just didn't have the power for the second half. Dude. I'm not used to fucking. It was almost three hours. <laughs> Dude, you killed it, man. And you were always where you wanted to be, though. That's the thing, like. Yeah. You kind of just like held it like real well, man. Like half the fit, like more than half the field have gone. Like. Oh yeah. We started with over 60. I think only like 20 finished. Yeah. <laughs> Jasmine sharing some stories with me about uh, bicycle culture in North America and specifically French Montreal. Canada. Montreal. It's all about Montreal for fixed gear crits. Fixed gear crits and cross and lots of cool people and lots of fun. Yep. We have a good series. It's going to be bigger and bigger. We have the iBike crit. Big crit during uh, a festival called Jackalope. This year at Jackalope there was actually base jumping from the Olympic Stadium in Montreal, Whoa. 1976, and we had that crit, and uh, yeah, it's awesome. There's a lot of high-level fixed gear racer from Montreal, and uh, we're part of it. And that team, I bike, 
Well, they show up races and riders, and we, uh, we have fun. It's uh, a lot of fun. Awesome. I guess you like pickles and orange juice too, right? Not orange juice, it's shots of whiskey. Ah, uh, whiskey and pickles. Yeah, it's called a uh, Saskatchewan hooker. Ah. Pretty good. Road to the race today. Riding home from the race today. That's it, day done. Coffee to get the ride going for the ride. Um, 